Am I the a for confronting neighbor who demanded we stop talking in our garden? Was having a chat with my sisters in the garden over lunch. Normal volume, no talking about anything particular slashes. When the neighbor called over the fence and said, Excuse me, can you stop talking? We're trying to have a nice family meal. Me and my sisters were shocked. Apologize a sort of knee jerk. But a few minutes later, I went around into their gated community and politely told her how inappropriate her request was. We have as much as right to enjoy time outside as she does. She wailed that she could hear everything that we were saying and knew all about us and got cross when I politely pointed out that the same was true of her and her conversations. We regularly hear her arguing with her husband and shouting at her grandkids as well as just her normal conversations out in the garden. I thought she needed to know that since we were not being excessive noisy and since it was mid-afternoon and not 1 a.m. or anything, her complaint was not very appropriate but sisters think that I should have let it go. Am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for telling my BF to fuck up and enjoy his birthday alone? My boyfriend, 27 male, and I, 27 female, plan to celebrate our birthdays together this year since we are three days apart in age. I am relatively easygoing and itinerary wise when on vacation, but I tend to err on the side of booking my trips away in events so that I can book hotels, figure out logistics, etc. ahead of time. This way, I can lessen any travel anxiety I have very hectic work schedule. Anyway, my boyfriend is the exact opposite of me. He is not a frequent traveler, horrible planner, and prefer to do everything the last minute based on his work schedule. He works for a big counting firm. He sort of just expects me to bend and be flexible to that. We have been together for 9 months and so far I've had to move few solo trips I planned ahead of time to accommodate him wanting him to go to. Fine, whatever. Problem is, he will often say yes to a trip, take zero initiative to help me plan, leave everything to me, only to change the entire plan like one week before because he realizes he can't go usually to work related reasons. As someone who travel very often, I am 6 months into this year and have cancelled 4 trips because of him which has been heartbreaking every time. This is where I want to know if I'm an a-hole. This will get confusing so I will be laid down the itinerary we agree upon for reference. July 23 to 26, couples trip to Malta planned with friends. July 26 to 30, business trip with Spain for me. July 30 to August 1, boyfriend flies to Spain to spend birthday weekend with me. Okay, so all good. Well, Couple's trip ended up getting cancelled because of COVID restrictions. We all hopped on one call last week to figure out a new game plan. Boyfriend decided he still wanted to go somewhere 23 to 26 as opposed to rescheduling. So asked me to move our birthday weekend in Spain up by one week. Mind you, I had already booked restaurants, hotels, etc. for 30 to 1 August. I warned him moving out our trip up to 23-26 July would ruin our birthday plans. We would have to be physically apart since I'm still in Madrid. He's like, yeah, whatever, it's fine, so we rebooked. Fast forward to today and he start bitching at me because I won't be able to be in town for our birthday weekend even though I warned him about my business trip. I was so fucking livid. Well, enjoy your birthday alone. I'll be in Spain like I planned. He played dub the entire time saying he didn't realize the birthday weekend was ruined and that he was preoccupied when we were discussing rebooking so he didn't clearly understand what was happening. If this were all one time thing, I might have been more forgiving. Am I the a-hole? I feel like kind of bad now. I might be ill if I tell my friend I don't want her husband to come to our trip. There is a bit backstory on this, so bear with me, please. My best friend and her husband have been on and off for almost two years due to one-time infidelity of her part. She admitted her wrongdoing, and they went counseling to try and work things out. He got very strict and controlling of her, has all the passwords of the social media, has sold her car and takes her anywhere. If she's away from him, he constantly checks in on her. He will also get her self-esteem very low by degrading her looks and feelings for him, then leave her. He will stay gone for a week or two, then come back. Every time he comes back, she drops everything to do anything he tells her to do. He also cheated on her within the last month and has said she needs to forget about it and move on. He brought her to work tonight and has sat outside his truck for her 10-hour shift waiting to take her home. She has cancelled plans with friends are not normal for her to miss. He also walked out on his job three weeks ago and she has been hiding from us. So he is with her all the time. 
situation. Back in December, while we were together, she and I booked a girl's trip to Vegas. I have been looking for work for this for months. It's my first trip as a single woman. I am in the best shape of my adult life. I feel good and I wanted to have a fun week with her. She has been excited too. But since she and her husband has been back on the last month, but her excitement has been a bit subdued. I almost wondered if she was going to actually go. We'll leave in one week. Tonight she asked me if it would be okay if her husband and his brother join us on trip. I really want to say no, but I am not sure how to handle it. I feel like if I say no, that we've had it planned as a girl's trip, I will be the bad guy for keeping them apart. Am I the a-hole if I tell her I don't want him there?